Okay, so if we are resizing elements on the page, like divs and whatnot, to um, expand and contract and react to how big our device is, um, it doesn't make sense to use images that are not also behaving in that way. So we're going to look at how do you change the size of images um, that are both just on the page as well as images that are in the background. So um, let's first talk about images that are just on the page and we can size them using CSS and there's a couple techniques and they have some drawbacks or benefits. So the first one is to use width. So I will style my IMG tags to have a width of 100%. And then I don't want the picture to be stretched out of proportion so it gets squished or um, sort of stretched. So I'm going to set my height to auto. So whatever this width adjusts to, the height will adjust itself accordingly to keep the picture in um, proportion. Now this does have a problem, which is that if it stretches too far, there's no stops in place to prevent it from actually pixelating. So if you have a very small um, image that's not very high resolution and you make it too big, you'll start to see pixels. Um, so that's the drawback to this technique. The second one is to use um, a CSS property called max width. So it looks very similar to the previous one. I'm styling the IMG tag. I'm setting the max width to 100%, and again, I'm letting the height set to auto. Um, and so the big difference between this one and the first one is that with max width, the image will scale down if it has to, but it will never scale up larger than its original size. So you won't have any danger of pixelization. It'll just stop getting bigger once it reaches the point where it would get bigger than its original size and pixelate. Okay. So that's if you have IMG tags um, with images on your page, but what if you have um, background images and you want those to scale as your divs change size or your page changes size? So there's some background um, image related properties that we haven't talked about that much in the past. Um, so we're going to look at those now. So the first one here, um, it's called background size. And there's some possible values I can set this to. And this is the first one. Um, it's the value contain. And what that means is that the background image that you have set will scale to try to fit the area that's changing size, so the div or the page or whatever, but it will keep its proportions. So you're not guaranteed that if this thing is stretching um, left to right as your div is expanding its width, that it will also expand enough vertically to cover the page. So you may be left with a gap if your image isn't repeating. Okay. Um, I could also set this background size to 100%, 100%. Um, it will scale to fit 100% of the container from edge to edge, so um, I won't have any gaps at the bottom um, if it's not quite big enough picture to fit that, but it will stretch the picture out of proportion. And depending what that picture is, that may be more or less noticeable. Okay. I also have this option of setting background size to cover. So that means um, it will stretch horizontally and vertically. It will maintain its proportions and the way that it will deal with um, the possibility of the container not being the same proportions as the image is that it will just clip out any amount that would have overlapped the edge of the container. So the picture won't get distorted or out of proportions, but you will be guaranteed that it will cover the container from edge to edge. Okay, um, so you can stretch and resize pictures, but maybe it makes sense to actually have different pictures based on the kind of device. So if you have a very large image for a, a laptop display of your page, um, but when you go down to a cell phone or something, you wouldn't see that much of the image anyway, then why waste time and memory and data um, for that person to load the picture? So to make the burden on their device smaller, we can use media queries to actually choose different pictures based on what kind of device we have. So here is an example with background image. Um, I'm defining the smaller image first using that rule that we're going to design for mobile first. So I've told the body to have background image of, of something called smallflower.jpg. And then with a media query, I'm going to check for a screen that's bigger than 400 pixels. So I'm going to say at media only screen and mid width 400 pixels. So if we get to 400 pixels and above, then I'll swap out this original background image for a different background image 
um, that is larger. That way, if somebody's opening it with a phone, they just get this small one, it takes less time to load, and then they're done. If they're loading it with the computer, they get a bigger version. Okay. Um, I can also do this sort of swap out with IMG tags, but it's a little bit different because it's not just styling as with a background image. We're actually changing the content on the page. So there's this HTML5 element called picture, um, which let me just preface this with the caveat that not all browsers are going to support picture, especially older ones. So we're going to do a little thing to make sure that we have a picture there if it doesn't get supported. And so we have picture tags, a start and an ending picture tag. Um, instead of IMG here, I'm writing source under source set. I'm putting the name of the image file that I want to use. And here I'm setting uh, a media rule. So I'm saying, um, if the max width is 400 pixels, then load up this one. Otherwise load up this one. So it's kind of accomplishing that same thing. If it's small, load the smaller one. If it's bigger then it'll load the bigger one. Um, what happens with the picture tag is the first one of these that evaluates to true for the device will be the one that shows and then it will stop looking down the list. And then at the bottom, after these sources, I will put an IMG just in case the browsers don't support picture. Um, if a browser doesn't support a tag, it just kind of ignores it. So if it, this is not supported, it'll get to this point, hit the IMG tag, and it will display the image for you.